Our costume should be animals that come out at night. Well, then what's your idea? What should we go as? <laughs> That's it! How about a wolf? Now that's a cool night creature. <gasps> oh, great idea! It's coming from that way. Let's go! This veggie cleaner will make it super easy to make desserts for the party tonight. Let's see what it's got. <laughs> Oops! Done! Mmm, pumpkin pie. Try this one. <laughs> Let's try the apples. What's that? Hang on, I've got a flashlight around here somewhere. Flashlight, flashlight. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! I knew it was... Um, knew it was Cokie the whole time. <laughs> uh, very funny. <laughs> You're not gonna get me twice. Uh, Jimmy, that wasn't us. <laughs> Must be the power generators need rebooting, but that'll take a few hours. No problem. That's why we have these lanterns anyway. Where are Chris and Martin? I'm not sure. They said they were on a top secret mission to find their costumes. Top secret? Knowing Martin, he probably wants to come as a sperm whale. I should check in. <laughs> Keep going, bro. I'm gonna see if I can spot him. Wildcrats, where are you? Uh, oh, hey, Cokie. We were just out trying to decide which nocturnal creatures we want to be. Bet you can't guess. A wolf? <gasps> no. I found the wolf pack. They're just to the west of us. Okay, you're right. Wolves? Yikes! You guys are actually looking for wolves? Yeah, one of the most misunderstood animals in the forest. Some people think they're really dangerous, but they're actually pretty wary of people. Wow, but that howling is pretty spooky. Wolves howl to talk with each other. They're saying, here I am. This area is my home, my territory. Oh. Let's follow that. Whoa. Whoa, cool! An abandoned raccoon den! This must have been a great den. It's big, hidden, and... Chris! Chris! Hey, bro. Chris, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just checking out this old raccoon den I found. Uh, looks like you won't need a costume for the party tonight. You could go as a raccoon now. Hmm, not bad. Raccoons are nocturnal creatures. There, everything is ready. Sure is. Let the party begin. Jimmy, what are you supposed to be? The best costume ever. <laughs> Relax, oh Jimmy. Wow, that's a stretch. You're just jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent costumes, guys. What? Hey. Thanks. The sneaky, clever raccoon is a perfect costume. Where's the new very, very cake? Looks like the masked bandit strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> the creature power suits and the bat power discs are ready to go. I can hardly wait to see the guys try them out. Me neither. With you there, bro. Here you go. Thanks, Aviva. Oh, yeah, this is going to be great. Don't thank me. Thank Bite Size. He showed me just how amazing and resourceful little brown bats really are. If it weren't for him, I might still think bats are just little creepy animals. Well, bro, let's do this. Activate creature power. <laughs> hey, we're the Bat Brothers now, Oof. and we're flying to the ah. creature rescue. Ow. We are? What creature rescue? Don't know, but there's always a creature rescue. <laughs> <laughs> You two should take a trip through the miniaturizer. Not enough room in here for those bat wings. Besides, little bite-sized brownie boy, or whatever you've called him this time, is waving bye-bye now. No! Bite-sized, come back! Hurry, Aviva, before we lose him. Miniaturizer's powered up. We're good to
to go. Mm -hmm. Hey, bite size! Wait up! Goodbye, and don't come back anytime soon. Come on, Koki. I used to think bats were icky creepy. But now that I've got to know them, I like them. Yeah, bats are cool. What would be cool is my zucchini plants growing better. It's summer, and what summer without chocolate zucchini bread? Yeah. There he goes! Follow that bat! While the kids are snoozing, the bats are cruising. <laughs> oh, yeah! Woo! I love bat power! Good one! Hey, did you notice something about bite size, Martin? He's not catching mosquitoes anymore. Hey, he must be full. Because if insects are abundant, a little brown bat can fill his belly in the first two hours after the sun goes down. Right you are, bro. A brown bat can eat as many as 3,000 mosquitoes each night. And almost all of that happens right after the sun goes down. Speaking of going down, White Size is heading straight for that pond. He's drinking on the fly. You gotta, gotta try it. it. <laughs> uh, not that thirsty. <laughs> uh, it's more like this, bro. Uh, you were saying, bro? Woo! Bite Size is a perfect name. It's a dangerous world out here for little brown bats. <gasps> the lightning bugs are coming out. Fireflies! It's happening! Come on, follow them! Hey, Aviva! If you thought syncing up our video screens with the creature pods was cool, check this out. The fireflies will synchronize their blinking when they're in a large group. Whoa, that's amazing. Whoa, it's starting! The fireflies are coming! Shut off the lights! You've got to see this! Whoa. This is the only time to see fireflies. They only come out like this for two weeks of the year. And each lightning bug only flies and flashes for this one time in their whole lives. When they flash, they're talking to each other. The male fireflies fly around and flash to get the attention of the females. The females are on the ground watching the flying flashes. If she likes what she sees, she'll flash back. So the fireflies are flashing so they can pair up and lay eggs that turn into glowworms that turn into fireflies. But what are they saying to each other? It's like a code, a code that we don't know. We've got to figure out the lightning bug code. Bioluminescence. Light created by a living thing. Most light creates heat, but the firefly's glowing belly isn't hot. It creates cold light. How does it work? How do you do it? Blinker. His name's Blinker. How do you know it's Blinker? Oh, I'd recognize him anywhere. Okay, so at the Bug Olympics, how does a firefly hmm? start? What are you doing? I'm telling Blinker a joke in Firefly. At the Bug Olympics, how does a firefly start the race? How? On your mark. Get set, glow! <laughs> <laughs> look at the fireflies I caught. All right. Have a good look at them, then let the fireflies go. Okay, it's time to let the fireflies go. Bye-bye, fireflies. Be free. That's the Wild Kratz way. Hey, look! The fireflies are syncing up their blink patterns. They are so pretty. Look at them fly. Okay, why do fireflies love thunderstorms? Because they're lightning bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, hey guys. What did the wolf say to the ravens? How's it going? <laughs> you like that, huh? What? I am not slow. I don't have wings. 
Must be nice to be a raven. At least you can fly. Ah! Ah! Oh, I get it. You warn the wolves if anyone approaches. Ah! 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 And they take you to lunch. Smart. Wolves and ravens make a great creature team. <gasps> oh, you gotta be kidding me. You wolves just ran 15 kilometers, pulled down a 900 kilo moose and devoured it? And now you're off and running again? <coughs> okay, I'm coming. What were you whining about, Chris? Whining? Who was whining? I wasn't whining. It's Little Howler. I think he's hungry. We'll need a special formula to feed him. I'll look it up in the database. Hurry, Koki. He's breaking my heart. Oh, pobrecito. There it is, wolf formula. I'll mix it up. Check it out. I'll cheer him up with a creature joke. Hey, Little Howler, what did one wolf puppy say to the other wolf puppy? How's it going? Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wolf humor, it's funny. How you doing? I still don't know how you could ever have missed him out there. Well, it was one thing after another. Nature was really keeping us on our toes. Where did Little Howler come from? Well, after a lot more running, I followed the wolf back to their den. And when I got there, they were all snoozing with full bellies. Did you see any puppies? No, there weren't any puppies around. And the wolves were all lounging around snoozing, and I just sat down to rest for a second. And I guess I must have fallen asleep for a while. Because when I woke up, Chris was snarling at me like a cougar. I wasn't snarling like a cougar. I was trying to wake you up and tell you, a cougar, a cougar. Never before seen face off between a huge cougar, or you could call him a mountain lion, or a panther, or catamount. We've got to film it. All taken care of. The creature pod is recording. <laughs> no wolf alone can defeat a cougar, but together they have the power of the pack. something. Just show us the way, Mama T. Follow that ten rack. <laughs> Pokey? Hey, Pokey, wait! Oh. <laughs> Pokey, where are you going? Oh, no. Pokey! Your mom! Martin, there you are! Hey, you found us! Well, really, they found each other with those awesome quills. Well, we may not have finished the treasure hunt, but am I glad to see you guys. Actually, play that clue you found, Jimmy. You got it. Ride the river downstream to a hole in the riverbank by the setting sun. That's somebody's home and your Tenrec treasure hunt is done. Hmm, a hole? Ha! You mean that hole? Yep, that's the one. So Martin and Pokey found the hole in the riverbank without even knowing it. Well, I am pretty good at treasure hunts, you know. <laughs> but whose home is it? Whoa, a web-footed Tenrec. 
Maybe the least known of all the Tenrex. And my favorite! Martin, check out the waterproof skin and those webbed feet. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Awesome! That's perfect for swimming and river living. It's called adaptive radiation. They're all Tenrex, but each one has evolved with features they need to make it in different habitats. I had no idea there were so many different kinds of Tenrex. Yep, in Madagascar, there's a Tenrex treasure wherever you look. Whether it's above ground, or underground, and in the water. And they all look different because of where they live. Well, you guys did it. You found all five cool Tenrex. Treasure hunt complete. That was yeah! awesome. I'll take these guys back now while you guys have a swim with the rare Tenrex. Somebody's got to do it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Tenrex rule! If we wait, we might never see Googly Eye again. I know, and look, these are 99% done. That's pretty much there. I mean, what could go wrong? True. And we at least have to test them out. Yeah, we'd be doing Aviva um, a favor. Right, a favor. I'll just leave her a little note. Let's go. Googly eye, here we come. Pepperoni ice cream. These are awesome. Yeah, with the iris open all the way and the light sensing cones on high. The moonlight lights up everything. All right, so where are you, googly eye? Uh, Martin, do you feel like we're being watched? Yeah, like from back there. Hmm, nothing. Hmm, let's keep going. Hmm, what? What do you mean, what? Huh? Huh, what? Huh, hey. who? Hey, who? Who, where? Where, what? What? Googly eye! Check it out. We have googly eyes, too. Hello, little alien creature. We come as friends. Googly eyes, one and all. <gasps> Follow that Tarsier. I wonder where he's taking us. I don't know, but he sure seems to. This? This tree? What is so special about this tree? Martin, you know, we're pretty deep in the forest now. Martin? Huh? Yeah, who knows where this tree is on the map? We better mark our route on the GPS. Pass me my creature pod. What do you mean? You have the creature pods, don't you? No, you were supposed to grab them off the charger. I was. No, you were. I'm pretty sure it was you. Um, nope. Huh. So, what you're telling me is that we're deep in the Indonesian rainforest, in the middle of the night, without our creature pods, following a tiny elusive primate, with nothing but these experimental night vision goggles that could fail at any minute? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Awesome! Both tea devils are tough, but the hungrier one always comes out on top. A hungry small one will chase off a not-so-hungry bigger one. Wow! Amazing, they can eat almost half their body weight in 30 minutes. That would be like me eating 256 hot dogs. Whoa, that's a lot of carcass. <laughs> Step aside, wild rats. I have a real purpose for these beasts. My next generation are security robots. Hello, guard bots. Bye-bye, kids. <laughs> Check out this little tough guy. You look scary, you sound scary, you act scary, but you're kind of cute. <laughs> I'm gonna call you T-Bone. The 
thought you were protecting them? Well, think again. The wild rats are tagging them so I can catch them. <laughs> Zapbox, get a transmitting tag and bring it back to me. By tapping into the radio frequency, I'll know where to find the Tasmanian Devil so I can steal them all! <laughs> hey, Martin, check this out! Uh, you're not gonna give me a taste test, are you, T-Devil? Whoa! Watch out, buddy! This could cause a creature power suit malfunction. I think I'm okay, though. Something smells good. Hey, Chris. I think T-Bone likes me. Chris? Where'd you go? Chris? Hey, why are you yanking on me? You were just trying to eat a carcass. What? I'd never eat rotten meat. Let's get back to tagging the tea devils. Chris, trust me, your suit was malfunctioning like mad. No, it wasn't. <laughs> wow, you're turning into a tea devil. Hey, and stop drooling on me. Aviva, help! There's something wrong with Chris's suit. Chris looks fine to me. Never been better. What? He was just craving carcass meat. I'm fine, bro. Come on, we got tea devils to tag. Oh. <laughs> You're the one acting weird, Martin. But we're on our way. <laughs> when tea devils are angry or fighting, their ears turn bright red. Makes it easier to tag them. Oops, I dropped one. <laughs> Not anymore. Koala balloon. Uh, koala balloon's got a grip. Oh, yeah, sure does. He's got five fingers on each paw, and on the front ones, two of them move separately like thumbs. That's how koalas can hold tightly onto branches. Or my nose. And why koalas are such great climbers. Oh, no, not again. Hey, Koala Balloon, you ever notice that Chris's shirt is green? Like a eucalyptus leaf? Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to my world, dude. Can't hear you, Chris. You got a fuzzy marsupial on your face. <laughs> you okay? Yep. Just had a hairball. <laughs> Oh no! Koala Balloon's gone! That can only mean trouble, and that trouble's name is Dingo. A whole pack of dingoes! Oh, we gotta find Koala Balloon before they do! Koala Balloon, where are you? Where could that marsupial be hiding? There he is, Martin! Grab him! Gotcha! <gasps> Chris, go long! What? I have an idea! Coming at you, Chris! Got him! Ah! Hang on to Koala Balloon for as long as you can! Oh, easy for you to say! Hurry, Martin! Martin! Is this really the best time for an art project? It is when it's a koala decoy! If it looks like a koala, and smells like a koala? Then it is a koala. Okay, Chris, toss him over. It's about time. Yeah. The old switcheroo. Oops. Oh, no. I've dropped my tender, juicy baby koala. All right, they fell for it. There's always time for a little art. Ah. Whew. Whew, that was close. The good news is we covered a lot of ground with that dingo chase. The bad news is we went five kilometers in the wrong direction. Oh, it would have been nice to travel at night when the desert's cool, but 
It looks like we're gonna be spending the night in this tree. Yep. Can't take a chance having the koala anywhere near the ground. Nope. Yep. Good night, Martin. <sighs> Good night, Chris. Good, Good night, night, koala, koala balloon. balloon. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, Martin. Koalas are active at night. So he's gonna stay up all night and we've gotta keep an eye on him. Oh, morning, Chris. Morning, Martin.